La 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 la. Part two. See me roll on my segue. I know in my heart they think I'm white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. I like to roll with the gangsters. All right, now what I'm gonna do because I'm all covered. Um, I'm not going to put any blush on or any bronzer or anything because I'm not using cream blush. Um, I have, I just put on liquid or you put on cream, liquid and cream. You don't want to mix powder with it. You don't want to put powder like blush over it because it'll be really hard to blend um, and it'll get streaky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it and I'm using Shine Free by Maybelline. It's a loose powder in medium. You see? Oh wait, that was upside down. There you go. And I like it because it has this really nifty sifter. It smells really good too. It is a colored one. I think they make it in a translucent one. I'm not really sure. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some in the cap here. And I'm taking my Low Cornell XL Round Mop. I got this thing for like $8. Really good face brush does have a little bit of um, shedding fallout on the brush, but not a big deal. It's really not that much. So I'm just taking what's in the cap, swirling it around, and patting it on my face, trying to avoid my eye area. Then what I take is Mineral Veil. This is from Bare Essentials. I really like this, but it's, it's like 20 something dollars, so I'd rather use this for my face and this for under my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take... Oy, 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 oy. I'm so unorganized today. I'm going to take a little bit of that mineral veil. I'm taking just a concealer brush. I'm taking the Max Coverage Concealer from Bare Essentials. This is okay. Their brushes aren't. I'm not really too impressed with their brushes. But what I'm doing is I'm just patting it on my lids and under my eye. And what this is going to do is because it's a lot finer of a powder than the other one, it's not going to cake into my, it's not going to go into my uh, little fine lines or anything around my eyes. So just pop that on. And I'm going to wipe off the excess powder. Just off my face, not off my eyes because I just put the powder on. Okay, now you can put powder on your face. And what I'm going to do is take Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals, sorry, um, in Warmth. This is a really good dark powder, Ooh. if you can see. Um, really good for using as sort of a bronzer, warming up your face. So what I do is I start at right here, because that's where I want the darkest spot to be, just underneath my cheekbone. So I bring it in like this, and I sort of swirl it, and then I bring it up and down. Sort of in like like a 3, or an E, or something. Take it a little bit more. And if you can tell, this sort of is warming up my complexion a little bit. Alright. And now blush. I left my Coastal Sense blush palette at my friend's house because I was doing her blush the other day which I'm just oh, I need it back but anyways the thing I like about blushes is that usually usually the blush isn't like the main focus of the face but it can really change your look um, you know you can use uh, like a peachish peachy peachy <laughs> warm color to sort of warm up your complexion um, give you sort of a glow you can use a really bright pink color to give you sort of that fresh look um, a darker skin color skin tone color you can use a shimmery color to kind of highlight and give you a glow you know I mean that's the thing I like about blush but I don't have my whole palette so I'm gonna use La Femme Glow on Rouge in light amber this is a really good one for my skin tone it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that it's sort of a warm um, Peach, peachish, pe peachy tone. Yes, it's peachy. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I don't like the packaging, but it's really good blush. And it's really cheap. 
And I start it on here and I just work like little circles up. And I don't usually do really any eye makeup in my daily routine. Um, because I don't really feel it's necessary. Only when I go out at night, you know, I'm getting dressed good and out somewhere. Um, so what I'll do is I'll usually just put on mascara. Oh, eyebrows. I forgot my eyebrows. Um, what I did, I took an old mascara one and I cleaned it off. I don't actually have a brow brush, but I've had this for a long time and it works really well. And I didn't have to buy another brush, so. Tip! Um, I'm using for my eyebrows La Femme Brush on Brow in Dark Brown. This stuff is really good because it's smudge proof. I don't even have to set it and it's still there at the end of the day. If I can f I'm so unprepared for this, I'm sorry. Okay. Getting my angled eyebrow brush. It's actually an eyeliner brush, but it works really well for my brows. Maybe I'll do a brow tutorial sometime. Thing is, is I have like Bushman eyebrows. So it's. I mean, it's not very hard for me to just make the shape or anything. It just kind of fills in sparseness. Sparseness a word? I don't know. So, if you can sort of see the difference, to sort of make it look a little more natural. Okay. That's it for the face. I'm just gonna do my lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put mascara on them. And Corin from Encore has this really awesome tutorial on how to curl your lashes the right way. Woo. And um, I was curling them a totally different way at first, and so much better, his method. And I'm using Maybelline Define a Lash, really good mascara for a drugstore brand. And that's it for the face routine. Um, this is just my normal day-to-day -day kind of daytime look. Um, I don't usually do eye makeup except for the mascara. I just don't see a real point in it um, unless I'm going to do something uh, going out at night or something like that. Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of eyeliner just on the top. Um, I have naturally downturned eyes so I kind of need a lift. They look a little bit droopy. A little bit. And so um, sometimes I'll just put like a little thin line of eyeliner, well actually thick on the outside and just going to about like there on my eye just to kind of lift it up a little bit. But that's about it. Um, hope you guys learned some stuff from this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!